How do you engage plant managers in improving operations? I'm Greg Schinkel, President of Unique Training and Development and Frontline Leadership Systems, and today we've got to look at the plant manager's role in creating a level of engagement that actually drives up performance in their facility. The myth is that plant managers really aren't interested and aren't engaged enough, I think, in the day-to-day -day operations of their facilities. And I think that's a dangerous myth because the fact is that if plant managers are more engaged on a daily basis in their plant, not to micromanaging, but just to be uh, walking the floor and interacting with people, they can help ensure that things are running smoothly and efficiently and create a level of engagement with the supervisors, the production uh, employees, and other teams that are involved in driving success. Now we had uh, one story, and unfortunately it's a bad news story, we had one plant manager in one manufacturing facility who made this mistake, and it, it's not unique to this one person, it has happened before, but they were doing these town hall meetings, which a lot of plant managers will run, and they had this one group of employees together, and they had just done a, a wage increase. They signed a new agreement, they had a wage increase, and so the plant manager at this group of employees meeting said this. He said, look, you guys just got a wage increase, increase. That's going to make more people want to work here. So if you're not cutting it, you're replaceable. So you better get to work. And he had this tone of like accusation and negativity. Now, first of all, even if you thought that a little bit as a manager, you would never say that in front of your team members because what do you have to gain? Are you trying to use fear as a motivator, which of course we know doesn't work long term. And what that did is it caused this sour attitude and this mood. Uh, absenteeism went up in the days that followed, production levels went down, the attention to detail and quality went down. So talk about sowing the seeds of your own production demise. That plant manager really messed things up. So I've got a few tips on how, as a plant manager, you can engage your folks to improve operations and improve performance. Number one as a plant manager is be visible and available. Now, one of our clients had a situation where they'd scheduled so many calls for the plant manager to be on that the plant manager really was stuck in the office most of the time and never really had enough time to walk the floor and interact with people. So people need to see the top person show up every once in a while and walk through. So be visible and available. The second thing, of course, is to empower, and we've done a Leader Feeder episode on empowerment as well that you can watch. So when you empower people, it means that you're giving them the responsibility, you're also giving them the expectation that you need them to deliver on. And so when you empower to them, you're giving them some of your power and authority as the plant manager, you're giving it to them to drive performance. And tip number three is to ask questions. Now, I say ask questions but not in an interrogational way, to ask questions instead of making statements. Because here's what happens as a leader. When you speak up and say, here's what I think we should do, people will generally fall in line, even if they might have had a slightly different and even better idea. So why not start by just asking questions? Hey, what do you guys think would work? How might we uh, solve this? What are your thoughts on this? And just the more you ask questions as a plant manager, the more you get other people to come up with solutions. And when they come up with the solutions, their, their level of ownership and accountability over those solutions is much higher than if you just say, here's what I want you to do. So asking questions is a powerful way to empower employees and drive performance as a plant manager. Now, once you've done that, you're going to realize that the leadership skills of your frontline production managers, your operations managers, and also your production supervisors and team leaders, they're going to need improvement. And that's where our frontline leadership training program comes in. And that could be delivered on-site exclusively for your team or through our state-of-the-art virtual training studio. You could enroll people in one of our public workshops where our instructor is live, virtually, or in person. Or the newest way is through the Frontline Leadership On Demand program. That allows you to enroll someone, they work at their own pace, they're expected to put those ideas into action in our system, our Leader Behavior Builder system keeps track of what they're putting into action and gives you a beautiful report that shows the impact that the leadership training is having on your supervisors and therefore on your operations. Now, now, all of that starts with a conversation. You can just visit us at uniquedevelopment.com, set up a meeting where we'll have a conversation about what your needs are, and usually we'll propose an initial solution that works for you, and then based on the success of that, we'll propose additional follow-up uh, solutions that can help you over a period of time. So I look forward to that discussion because we want to partner with you and your leaders to drive operational excellence.